Okay, guys, so here you have the, the arroz con gandules that I'm setting up right, right now. What I have in here already is some minced garlic. I have some ham and some little dices of potato. All right, so right now I'm going to add in that half, a, that half a can of Goya tomato sauce that I used on that lemon glazed chicken. This is the other half. This is how I do my arroz con gandules. All us Latin women do it differently. However, sometimes you got to work with what's in your kitchen, and that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> okay, a sprinkle of the all-purpose adobo. Sprinkles, two teaspoons, as you know. I'm actually adding some onion into my arroz con gandules, because I like to give these gandules a nice kick for that lemon glazed chicken, okay? So like I said, it all depends how you want to cook things. It's your kitchen. You do it your way. Um, so this is the way I'm doing my gandules today with my rice. All right. Two tablespoons of those beautiful, lovely uh, pepemientos. Okay, I'm just using my fingers. We're gonna use the agandules can. This is they have some with coco. However, I'm just doing the plain Jane gandules verde. Okay, throw that in there. Some two tablespoons of the granola oil. I'm adding in some oregano leaves as well. Okay, so this is my little spunk. So what I'm doing a twist to my gandules. Okay, and then I need one big spoon here for, of course, the sofrito. So, all we need is one big spoon of that, and that's pretty much it. I let that simmer for about 15, 20 minutes before I add in my rice, and that's pretty much it. Beautiful.